Hey everybody, this is William from the Godzilla Files coming at you today with another countdown and today we're going to be looking at my favorite X Plus figures of 2017. Before we jump into the list, I just kind of want to talk about 2017. Overall, it was a great year for um, X Plus figures. You know, I can't think of, of one figure that was really bad. This was also my first year, like my full year of collecting, and overall I thought I did pretty well for myself. I missed out on some, some figures that I really wanted, but others, you know what? What I have is what I really, really wanted. You know, it's just too expensive and you have to be very selective with these things. Give a quick little group shot of everybody here. All of these could have been on my top uh, five, but you know, some of them did not make it. So without further ado, let's get started. Before we get to the top five, I just want to do some honorable mentions. These two figures, while didn't they, they did not make the list, are still very good. Um, I thought this Godzilla turned out a lot better than I thought it was going to. After seeing him in photos and then picking him up myself, he actually has grown on me a lot. I just think this is probably the closest that you're ever going to get to a really good Godzilla from Terror of Mecha Godzilla, or even one that you can use in your Godzilla versus Mecha Godzilla sets. Yes, I think there are some issues as far as the coloring goes. I think it's a little too dark, and also his mouth is a little uh, too gummy, as I said in my past reviews. But overall, still really like Gabra. Um, one of my favorites actually that has also grown on me but you know he's a 25 centimeter I mostly collect 30 but I wanted to pick him up because mo you know for the real reason is I'm not sure if they're ever going to do a 30 and I wanted him in my collection he's not my favorite he's not from my favorite film either but I do think he deserves <laughs> almost lost him there I do think he deserves um, a place on the shelf and you know why not just get him I think his look you know all the bumps on his, his skin the texture everything is done so well with such a great amount of detail that you couldn't go wrong picking up these two figures I'm sure they will be re-released in the coming years but right now I can honestly say that these two are one of my favorites I also would say that I think this Godzilla is still available on some website, so if you want to pick him up, you probably still can for a pretty decent price as well. But, alright, let's get on to the top five. Number five is a diamond reissue, Batra 30 centimeter. He is truly stunning. From his size, the amount of detail that's on him, you know, usually when you get bigger figures, the detail kind of suffers, but somehow, you know, the amount of detail that they put on him, it, it's mind blowing to me. It really is. You know, if you look on the side here, you know, you look here, and even on his back, all the bumps and spikes, it's truly amazing. You know, his face looks really good. This really does seem like they took the prop from the movie or the suit from the movie and just made it smaller. You know, I can't say any more good things about this guy. I wasn't the biggest fan of Batra before this figure, but now that this figure, you know, is in my possession, I have to say, like, I'm actually a fan of Batra now. He wasn't always my favorite. He's not part of my favorite Heisei film, but design-wise and anything else, this is top-notch and definitely um, worth picking up. He's still available through most websites, so I would try to hurry up and get him. He seemed to be very popular when I first was getting into it and into this um, hobby, so I'm pretty sure this probably won't last as long as other ones. Number four is the Yuji Sakai Godzilla GMK figure. This figure is amazing. I have never been a big fan of a lot of the X Plus GMKs that I've seen, but this one does it perfectly. This captures probably the evil, the monstrous kind of side of Godzilla that the other X Plus figure did not. I really do love the look of him. I, I think the face is probably the best. The amount of detail that's in it, truly stunning. You know, in the back as well, his spines, everything looks great. You know, he, he was one of my last figures to get for 2017. I had never done a review on him, so I'm going to kind of just do a little quick one. GMK is one of my favorites from the Millennium series, and I've never been, as I said before, a fan of the X Plus figure. Once I saw this one though, and then I got this guy in my hands, this probably is the closest you're ever going to get to, to the movie version. Um, it does have little problems, yes, like so, like the legs, but overall, like as far as movie accuracy goes, I think this is as close as you're going to get. Um, one complaint that I do have is the tail stand. Yuji Sakai seems to really like these and that's fine. Um, I just wish, you know, it, it just 
It's one extra thing that I have to worry about. But the good thing is that the tail kind of wraps around. So he's not as big of a shelf hog as let's say like Batra is. So definitely worth picking up. Diamond just reissued these guys like maybe a few months ago or so. But I would definitely, um, if you want him, go grab him. He's still available on most um, online stores. Number three, Mechagodzilla 2, 30 centimeter. This guy is massive. He is <laughs> huge. Even for a 30 centimeter, I think he's probably one of the bigger ones. This completes the Mechagodzilla line that I, I think every Mechagodzilla has been done, put it that way. Um, I He was also one of the few figures that I was really close to getting the Rick Brick Boy version of um, with Garuda on the back, but I decided to go with the clean version. I, I have all my Mecha Godzillas with their clean version, so I just kind of felt that that would be the best. Truly a massive um, creature. Maybe not as detailed as let's say Batra was, but you have to remember he wasn't. There wasn't too much detail on him anyway. When when you look back on the movie, he is supposed to be just a weapon. You know, he might not have the personality of Mecha Godzilla from the Showa series or even Kiru, but you know, he's probably the strongest version of Mechagodzilla and I think they do a really great job you know he seems like a tank the size everything like that does such a great job definitely would recommend picking him up I believe Diamond is re reissuing him early this year so you're in luck I was able to get him in the first Japanese release but if you waited um, he should be coming out pretty soon if I remember correctly Number two is the Uchi Sakai Godzilla 1991. This guy is probably the best representation of the Godzilla Heisei that I've ever seen. He looks truly amazing. You know, I, I think he looks different from all the other ones who are usually roaring. I love the closed mouth. He, you know, has a long tail. <laughs> You know, that is back. Everything is perfect. This is how I picture the Heisei Godzilla. And without a doubt, you cannot go wrong with him. If you're looking for at least one representation from the Heisei films, this is my choice. He truly is stunning. He is the reason why I'm looking at Yuji Sakai figures more so than X+. Plus. You know, if I know that he's going to be doing a certain version of X+, Plus that's available already, I'm probably going to wait for him. The amount of detail that's on this guy is truly amazing. I know a lot of these guys have a lot of detail, and this is something you probably hear a lot from any kind of review that you watch, but it's truly stunning when you get these guys up close and personal. I strongly recommend picking him up. I know he's available. Diamond reissued him this year. I can't say anything more. He's definitely my favorite even with this long tail of his which makes it so hard to find a spot for him on the shelf. So you know just just be just be mindful of that I would say. But uh yeah definitely one of my favorite Godzilla figures and one of my favorite X plus figures. Number one is Hedora from the Giant Monster series. This figure is unbelievable. Just like Badger, I was not a very big fan of Hedora, but my god, this figure is perfect in every way. You know, the fact that he shines and has like little sparkles on him, just like in the film. I, I can't believe this, but this is one of the few 25 centimeters that I found to be better than the 30 centimeter. I was going back and forth about picking up the 30 or this guy. I'm so happy I went with him. I think this is the best Hedora figure that you can find anywhere, and I would strongly recommend picking him up when he gets reissued. I, you definitely can't find him now, and I'm sure if you were trying to, he's going to be very expensive. Another um, great figure, the Rick Boy was also great, came with extra pieces. You know, I was really close to picking up Rick Boy with this guy as well, but decided not to because I'm just not that big of a fan of this guy, like I've said. But as shocking as it sounds for me to say, this is my favorite figure of the year. I would, would have never guessed at the beginning of the year that if you told me that Hedorah was going to be my favorite, I wouldn't believe you. But man, he, he just does everything right. He looks so good. His size is great. He matches, you know, he can actually match along with um, some of my other 30 centimeters. But I, I can't stop saying enough good things about him. If you have a chance to pick him up, please do. You're going you're gonna to be very happy with it. You know, everything about him is just just great I, I just can't say enough about him I, I truly do think this is the best figure of the year
All right, everybody, hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what X Plus figures you got this year and what was one of your favorites. But like always, guys, I will talk with you all later. Bye.